hi and welcome back to the sequestered chef i'm scarlet and i have another video for the wellness center this week and um it seems like we've been stuck at home for a while and we're gonna be stuck at home for a while longer because of quarantine um things are going in the wrong direction so you might have to do a little more cooking at home so i thought that i would try to come up with something that's a little bit unique. You might not have heard of it before and you might not have ever cooked it or even had it in a restaurant. Um, but I'm gonna tell you what it is and then we're gonna do two recipes um, showing you what to do with it. And of course, I, as usual, I always put a um, Pinterest page with some recipes and I'll include that link down in the bottom. I found these at um, Publix over in the kind of healthy, the produce section, but there's a little healthy vegan section and I found these over there. Um, I was not able to find any at Kroger. I might have just been looking in the wrong place, but, um, and I couldn't find any dried, um, the ingredient anyway, but this, and we'll talk about the different ways you can find it in a second. But polenta is a corn-based product. And many years ago, um, 20 years ago, I used to get a magazine that had the most beautiful food recipe photos in it and, and very elegant recipes. I didn't know anything about cooking back then. So I thought maybe if I read that magazine enough, I could pick up some tips. I couldn't even tell you what spices to cook. I mean, it was terrible. I knew nothing. But I would always see recipes for polenta. And 20 years ago, you couldn't just Google and find out what it was. So I didn't really know what it was, but I knew I wanted to try one of those recipes. But I never could find it. And then um, one time I took a trip to visit some family and they lived in Indiana. And the day we got there, the man of the house kept telling us that he was going to serve us fried mush the next morning for breakfast. I didn't, definitely didn't know what that was and I didn't plan on eating it. And so I got up the next morning and went downstairs to find a cup of coffee and lo and behold, one of these were sitting on the counter and I recognized it from the magazine. So, um, in Midwest, they eat it as a breakfast dish and they call it fried mush. But we are going to make um, some, fr some fries and we're also going to make a vegetarian dish that has, um, we, or a vegan dish maybe, that is, um, it uses tofu. So, I've been trying to get into the more plant-based and away from meat products all the time. So, I thought I would give this a try. And bring you along for the journey and see what I can do with it and see how it tastes at the end of this video but um, I bought I actually found two kinds this one is plain and this one is basil and garlic so I'm going to use this one to make the fries and this one in the other recipe and so what polenta is actually not a, an ingredient it's the name of a dish that comes from Italy but it's been incorporated in other things so it's not necessary it's an Italian dish anymore but it's cornmeal and so um, you can find cornmeal just like you make cornbread with in the grocery store but the difference is that this one is a coarse ground version not the fine version so I went on a search around making to find some polenta in the dried form and I couldn't find it um, probably I might have seen a medium grind I think I did see a medium grind, but it was just called cornmeal. It didn't have the word polenta on it. So if you're gonna go to Pinterest and look at some of the recipes, they do use the version that's not in the tube and already prepared. So um, if you can just find a medium or coarse ground cornmeal, then you, you're good to go for the recipe. But again, I, I wasn't able to find any. I went to three stores this week and I couldn't find any. So I just looked for recipes using this. And this is, um, I did a video a couple weeks ago about gluten-free. And so gluten-free is something that you're interested in trying. This is not only fat-free, but gluten-free. So it, it could be an interesting test for you to try to see how you like it. But I've, all the reviews for the recipes are very good on Pinterest where I found those. And um, this is the first time that I will cook something for Sequester Chef that I've never tried before. So this is okay so we're going to start off with the easiest recipe first and that is the fries so there's only a few ingredients you're going to take the polenta and you're going to take it out of the wrapper i'm going to cut it in half and then cut it this way to make um, them look a lot like fries and then the only other thing you need is some olive oil a little bit of pepper some dried rosemary and some crushed pepper um, then you're going to cook them on a 
it's a cookie sheet and it's got the um, rack on top of it. So you're gonna lay them on that. The recipe is a little misleading. Um, it says to cook on 220, but that's Celsius. So 220 Celsius is 425 Fahrenheit. So that's what our ovens go by. So make sure you preheat your oven to 425 before you get started. And then the recipe also, the one on Pinterest also says um, you can dip them in garlic oil, but um, you also can use marinara. There you can just eat them right out of the oven. So that's what I'm gonna try. Go. This just didn't take me very long, I will say. I've never cut into a package of polenta before and it has water in it. So be careful when you cut that open because I let water go all over the counter. So there's your tip right there. Um, as you can see, I just had put, put in a mixing bowl. I put two tablespoons of oil. I put just a sprinkle of the red pepper flakes and um, regular pepper. I put, I actually also added a quarter teaspoon of salt. I didn't mention a while ago. And then a half teaspoon rosemary. Mixed all that together. Cut these in different sizes. You can see that some of them are skinnier because I want to test and see which I like the best. And um, I preheated my oven to 425. So I'm gonna pop them in the oven and cook them for 20 to 25 minutes until they start turning golden brown. And then we'll come back and see how they look. And more importantly, Hey, I taste. left the polenta fries in the oven for about 25 minutes. And I wanna show you what they look like. I've let them cool before I picked them up. Um, here they are. They're nice and golden brown. And uh, they smell delicious. So I wanna just show you the texture. So here's what they look like. They feel like fries, just regular fries. And I open them up and they kinda of look like the Orida fries in the middle. And they taste really good too. So, give them a try. And the next recipe we're gonna try is the um, polenta and tofu stir fry. So let me get all that ready and I'll show you what we're gonna do. I started doing the prep for the polenta tofu stir fry and I got to a good spot to stop to show you what I'm, I've done so far. So I um, made a marinade with garlic, balsamic vinegar, and soy sauce and some water. And then I cut the tofu up so you can see. I cut it lengthwise and then sliced it. And you just put it in a bag and let it marinate while you prepare everything else. So I had that marinating probably for about 10 minutes. And then um, you cut up some bok choy. I had two heads of bok choy. So you cut this off of the leaves and then um, you just wash the leaves and then you take this apart because there's actually a lot of dirt in there. So you cut it up into smaller pieces, clean it up, and then I'll take those and chop all of that up into smaller pieces so that um, I can put it in the skillet in just a little bit. So the next thing I have to do is open this polenta cut it into medallions, and then cut quarter each of those. And then I'm gonna fry them in a skillet um, with just a little bit of ham sprayed in the bottom. And then I'll come back and show you what that looks like and how we're gonna put the rest of it together. Okay, we are down to the final stages, so I'm just gonna move the camera over to the skillet so you can see. This is the tofu that was marinated, and I've been cooking it on one side, and I'm just gonna Flip it over so you can see, and it'll brown on the other side just a little bit. And then, so you can see those are nice and brown. I saved the marinade that was in it because we're going to put that back in in just a minute. I'm going to turn the heat up as well. So, um, after I cooked the polenta, which is right here, I just took it out, kept the skillet hot, took the marinade out of the um, tofu, put the tofu in the skillet, and now we're just going to brown that for just a minute. And if I turn the skillet up, that won't take too long. And then, in a minute, we're going to add the bok choy, which I have cut up, and I'll show you what that looks like. So I chopped up the green part and I chopped up the stalk part as well. Things that we will have left to do 
when we get to this point are um, we have some I have some basil and oregano part of that came out of my little deck herb garden that I've told you about and then we have some vegetable broth and then we have the reserved marinade so after I put the um, greens in here we will um, pour those over and then it's just about done the only things left after that is to add the polenta back in and some sun-dried tomatoes and some pepper all right so let's go ahead and do this get that in there spread that around okay. this is the marinade that i'm just going to add back in some vegetable broth and sprinkle the herbs in as well okay now we just cover it and let it whip for a couple of minutes and then we'll come back and finish it up okay we're going to check on the greens and see if they've wilted and they have so now all we're going to do is add the polenta back in sprinkle some sun-dried tomatoes that were cut in little strips Put that in a little bit of pepper over it let it cook a little bit just to warm the sun-dried tomatoes up and to rewarm the polenta. Okay, so here you have it, the finished product. I sampled it and it was very delicious. I really like, I don't think I've had bok choy before either, and I really like the flavor of those greens. They're not as strong as like turnip greens or collard greens. I really like that. Um, I've never, I've only had tofu one other time. This picked up the flavor of the marinade. It's not too um, strong, so you might actually want to marinate it longer than I did. I think I did like 20 minutes. And I will say that I've gone back and sampled our fries that we made earlier, and I added some marinara sauce to dip them in, and you would be surprised how much they taste like mozzarella sticks. So I highly recommend those fries as a great appetizer. And this would be a healthy, um, meatless meal and again, you're getting your greens, you're getting some um, carbs with the corn, um, some of those kind of carbs, and you're getting um, a little sun-dried tomato, you're getting some good spices and herbs, so I highly recommend it. And if you make these, either one of these, send me a message and let me know how it tasted and how it worked out for you and what you think about polenta in general. Um, you can reach me at fitterbyfar at gmail.com or you can find my Facebook page, which is also Fitter by Far. And again, um, these recipes, along with some others, will be on a Pinterest page um, that's for Sequestered Chef. So I'll put all the links for those down below, and thank you for watching, and 